I don't know. I think it was uh, the, the game kind of panned out as a combination of factors today, really. One, I think we uh, needed the first goal after not scoring for a couple of goals and having so many injuries at the top of the pitch. Uh, we didn't get that. Uh, Chelsea, on their part, uh, weathered a little bit of a storm. I thought we started well. Then they got the goal on. You could see their kind of spirit lift and ours kind of diminish. And they saw the story of the game, really. They, uh, they stepped on from there and we couldn't get ourselves going. And in fact, we go in a game away from our game plan and started forcing things, which sometimes happen when, you, uh, when you're not scoring goals and feel like you're not going to score. So 3-0 uh, today is an unlikely scoreline for us when you look at our record this season. Uh, we've been in tight in every game, been involved in every game right up to the last moments. Late minute goal at Stoke, we win. Last minute goal here by Man City uh, for them to win. We've been in every game really, really at the end for the result, but not today. It was gone. Well, in terms of the impact of, uh, the, of our squad, yeah, you know, because you want to uh, kind of um, have your full strength side, of course, at all times, but you want that bench strong as well, where you can bring on players who are fully up to speed. Sacco was only trained for two days. I didn't really, you shouldn't have put him on the bench today. I just felt I needed to have him on the bench just for a bit of, to give my team a bit of belief. That's where we're at at the moment. So many key players missing. Fortunately for us, going to Southampton, I think Sacco will be up and ready to play. Kabaya will be back. I think uh, Connor's not too far away. He might even be able to play at Villa. So, you know, them players are going to be massive for us going forward. And Gailey is not far away as well. No one's really talked about him, but his presence today would have worried Chelsea. So with some big, big players missing, I don't want to really, uh, you know, moan about our injuries. It's a fact that, it, uh, that happens during seasons. Chelsea deserve to win today. Make no mistake, their mentality to weather the storm in the first 20 minutes was good. And then uh, when they got the goal, um, they produced uh, the quality that they got. And Fabregas today um, was uh, uh, put a performance in like he did at the start of last year. You know, Jose um, um, is a manager that is uh, used to winning and demands that they win. And um, um, that um, creates a pressure in itself. Um, and um, the players, um, you know, for whatever reason, couldn't respond to that this year. And um, all I would say is that, you know, looking at them now, I think they, um, I think that, and I'm speaking to one or two of them coming off the pitch, I think, you know, they all feel that, you know, they haven't played well. I said to Fabregas, you were brilliant today. He said, you were well, you know, taking a while. You know, I don't think it's like any kind of something major that's gone on. It's just, a, you know, the, the, the situation just couldn't, didn't work out. And Jose could still be here today, and that team could have played like that today for Jose. Maybe he just needed a bit more time, I don't know. So who can answer that question? All I would say is that um, they have quality players, and their quality players all played well today.